Hello and welcome to this video playing soft play. FM soft play, okay. 70 years old chess player. Let's have fun, okay. Yeah, the double fianchetto. Taking with the queen, okay, that's quite unusual. Hmm, isn't that, wasn't that a threat? It looked like a threat, but he didn't react to it. Hmm. Yeah, the opening result is um, <laughs> just fantastic for White. White already has a very substantial advantage, which is no wonder, he just kept playing moves instantly. Not, not paying any attention to what's going on. So let's see. The problem is that this structural weaknesses just never will go away. <clears throat> I just have this fantastic structure. Oh, that's a good move. That's a good move. So that knight d5 gets possible. I don't want to play bishop f4. Bishop h6 was good. This is again somewhat playable for black. Still not good, but it was much worse before I had overlooked this. <clears throat> Yeah, I have to reorganize this a little bit. Bishop c1, bishop d2, and so on. Now the bishop on b2 isn't good. Yeah, well, they never will go away, those pawns. I mean, they will go away when I take them, but I think I can just take it, huh? Yeah, black's completely falling apart here. I wonder, bishop d5 is also good. It's maybe, maybe quicker. Yeah, but I think this is, this is probably the easiest one. Taking the queen there. I can also take on d5 and play queen d4, but <clears throat> is rook c8 coming here? No. I mean, yes, but I can go to d4. Doesn't really hurt. Or maybe e4 is good. And now I'm threatening e4. 
and then taking on f6. Playing before breakfast. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, he has absolutely no counterplay is the problem. I mean, it's the tons of material down and no counterplay. Okay, maybe just e3 or something. Yeah, well, he cannot take on e2 anyway. I could have taken h7 actually. Hmm, okay. Okay, let's mm, just take c8 or queen d4 or whatever. Uh, maybe this one. There's certainly more than one way to win. I'm also thinking rook g7 is a threat here. No, it's not. Of course not, sorry. Might be if he moves the bishop somewhere, but he has no square to go to. Queen d5 though is a threat, and then coming to f7. So let's have a look there. Yeah, what I absolutely never understand is how people can play moves like that in, in two seconds. But <coughs> this is an old story that I keep repeating and I know people hate it. But um, so, sometimes people seem to have a total disregard for the first moves of the game. Like it doesn't matter. After 95, the game is essentially over. If I'm not doing something really wrong, Black will lose with the with the bad pawns. Sorry. And um, I, I really made a bad mistake here. This was okay, but here yeah, this um, d3 was wrong, giving him the opportunity to play bishop h6. I was already being a bit sloppy here because I felt, okay, I'm winning this anyway. But um, bishop h6, that helped a little bit. Yeah, I have to reorganize a little bit now. He has got that f6 and so on. I mean, white remains to be better because simply this is so terrible that you can play 
one or two second rate moves. Black is never going to get rid of the pawns. Yeah, I would doing this reorganizing in TM. Um, this is this is just losing. in the morning and in the morning that cold is somewhat more persistent and it gets better one or two hours later yeah so here this is a mostly technical affair rook d6 was better yeah but okay that's like everything wins yeah just the opening is just not playable like that i think even queen d5 is a little bit shaky already and why would you? Why not just play knight d5? Mm. But uh, if he plays uh, the engine, uh, queen h5 is still kind of normal. Maybe this is more precise so that I have h3 here. Mm. Possible. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.